Welcome back to I Am Beautiful Hustle TV. I know I've been on strike with you guys until we reach our 150K subscribers goal, but I'm not going to let my faithful beauty suffer, so I will get back to dropping these videos. Now, today's hair is provided by Steely Hair. This is their curly 26-inch uh, lace front wig, so it is some full parting space from ear to ear. As you can see, the wig is pretty nice and full, and the lace is very, very nice. Um, it is said to be HD laced, but um, check down below and you know check the description details for an update. Now today we'll be using my mom as our model for today, and she did want to try something different, even though she felt like it was a little childish for her age. But I was like, girl, just do it. Like it doesn't matter because y'all know she gets the same side part with curly hair damn near every time. So we wanted to do like a top ponytail look today and also, you know, some exotic baby hairs because we always keep it very, very simple, but we just want to, you know, do something different. So I'm going to show you guys how I installed this wig and also the styling process. So right now I'm just trying to wig on her head and making sure I line it up the best way possible with her hairline. I know she has that low hairline, so it's higher in the center and low on the sides. So I'm gonna show you guys how to, you know, apply your adhesive to match the person's hairline. And then that way, once you cut the lace, it will sit exactly where it needs to sit. And right now she's having a ball, y'all. So Aggie was on TikTok just laughing at everything, just <laughs> me and River Extra. But um, I'm just taking that uh, Ruby Kisses foundation and I'm applying it all over the lace. Also, um, I already applied it on her stocking cap. And um, once I get that going, of course we're going in with our top seller, the Lace Mid Adhesive. Everybody is loving this new and updated formula. Like it's been the talk of the town. Yes, it's waterproof. Yes, it's sweat resistant. I also dropped down in the community, uh, the community section like a layer chart. It, I will go ahead and repost it once again in the community section so you know um, how many layers to put for whatever type of hole that you want and you know a lot of people sell adhesive but they don't really help you out with how many layers to put so I try to think about the little details that matter and I also have a video that I will be releasing um, later on after I drop a few other videos on how to use the complete um, you know lace mud adhesive system and then i will also be doing a video on how to create a waterproof installation as well so just make sure you guys have your notifications turned on so you do not miss those important videos but however i'm gonna go in with about i think i used four or five layers um i really can't remember because i recorded this a while ago but um once i go in with all those layers of course i will go ahead and begin to melt down the lace
but now I'm gonna go ahead and pull the lace down into the glue. The glue has turned clear, so that means it's ready for your lace to be applied. And I'm gonna start by applying it in the center first. Then I work my way onto the sides, and you just wanna have them hold each side firmly into place. That way, you, one, you do not rip through your lace, and two, to just make sure that your lace is laying completely flat, which will also prevent ripples in your lace. So once you have that lace into place, and I know right now it's looking a little bit crooked, but don't worry because a lot of that is going to get cut off on that side where it looks like that. But now I'm just going to go ahead and blow dry on the heat setting that lace in. And then I will go ahead and also hot comb that lace backwards as well so that it can, um, you know, help with the melting process before tying the lace down with the melt belt. the melt belt you want it to sit at least five to ten minutes um the longer you let it sit though the better the uh melt so it's just up to you um but however i went ahead and removed that melt belt and now i'm just parting off the hair in front of the hairline that's gonna end up getting cut off once i go in with that lace glider and razor that lace off so just part whatever you don't see that's uh, melted because you can see the difference on what's melted and what's not when it comes to the lace application so whatever's not melted just go ahead and go in with your uh, lace lighter and just raise all of that extra lace off Because if you do not, one is going to leave behind the ears of your clients very uncomfortable and eventually it will start to cause them pain which can also give them headaches. Like if you notice, the pressure behind your ears can give you a headache. Um, I don't know if you guys ever noticed but when you wear a mask for too long and it starts to hurt the back of your ears, soon afterwards you start to get a headache. So that's the same thing with the lace. If it's behind their ears and it's piercing their ears and causing them pain it will eventually start giving them headaches so make sure you guys comfortably cut that lace to sit around their ears where it's not applying any pressure or causing them any irritation So now that we have that lace off, we're just gonna go ahead and pull down a section for the baby hair. 
I'm gonna put out a thin layer um, from ear to ear across the hairline. Like I mentioned in the beginning, we're gonna do some, you know, a little exotic little baby hairs. I did them a little differently this time. I just kind of wanted to try something different. But I'm gonna just go ahead and part that thin section across the front. Um, apply more foundation to make sure the lace is really, really blended, and then spray that hairline. Well, you know, with holding spray, and then tie it down again. And once I do that, I do go ahead and I sew down the back of the wig. I know I probably won't show it in this video or I don't show it as often, but I do have tutorials where I show you that. But um, in my new and upcoming tutorials, I will try to show you, you, know, you guys that more in detail. So uh, just stay tuned. while that melt belt is sitting i'm going to start doing the ponytail part um i start by parting one section you know across um the you know like across the head um you know i just do it like section by like side by side that way i can really get the part even so i do one side and now that i have that first part sectioned off and you want to make sure you leave hair to cover the tracks in the back of the lace frontal wig i'm just going to plait this section out the way and then i'm going to match this side on the other side by continuing to part off the rest of it making sure you leave that hair to cover the tracks and i'm going to um also get that section separated and then um, I'm going to just kind of like clean up the back first by applying some wax and hot combing it back. That way I can pull that out the way and I can focus on the top area. So now that the back is sleek and out the way, it's time to work on this ponytail. Now when creating your ponytail, one, you wanna make sure it's super smooth and flat. And you will just need pretty much two products, well three at most, well, yeah, product-wise. All you need to do is take your Glam Wax Stick 
and just apply the wax on the front of that part because once you go in with that hot comb to hot comb and smooth everything out, one, it's gonna hit, um, help everything lay flat. It's gonna add some shine to it and it also helps with the sleekness aspect of your ponytail. So that's why you see I applied that wax. I'm hot combing, hot combing. It's also giving it shine already. That's gonna make it nice and sleek. And what I like to do is hot comb the hair in the direction that I need it to lay. So in the center, I comb it directly, you know, towards the back because that part goes straight up. But once I get to the sides, I hot comb it going diagonally upward to where it's going to kind of like lay in the ponytail. That way it's easier to keep everything nice, sleek, and smooth. And you know, you just wanna take your comb, comb that hair in the same direction you need it to sit. And then you can add, you know, light holding spray to just really, you know, lightly firm the ponytail. I don't try to over, like holding, like spray. I don't like to try to overdo it as far as like using um, holding spray because people don't always wanna keep the ponytail in, um, you know, with the whole entire style. They just want it just for a little bit and then they be wanna, you know, take it down and restyle it. So don't like spritz them down to the T because you don't want it to be crunchy if they decide they wanna, um, you know, switch up the look. So I just use light holding spray, barely use it, just lightly. So I'm just gonna do all of that and then I'm gonna go in with the big stretchy black rubber bands, the really big ones. Um, the tiny ones for this situation, you know, that we're doing here, I don't recommend those. They pop so easily. As soon as you put them on your hand and you spread your hand out just a little bit, they pop, pop, pop. So I just use the big, thick black stretchy rubber bands and then I, you know, swoop my ponytail with that. So that's what I'm going to do here. As I mentioned, you just want to use some holding spray to catch your flyaways and everything. And I'm just going in with another band to secure that the ponytail was nice and tight and loose because once we do that, we're going to take a thin section from that ponytail and we're going to swoop, um, not swoop it, but we're going to use that to um, cover the rubber band portion on that because you know I take it's like a little wraparound method I don't know what you really call it but just take out a thin piece from the ponytail and use that to wrap around the um the uh rubber band and just take out a thin section spray with some holding spray you know you want to detangle it that way once you start to wrap it it is nice nice and smooth so it's just simple very simple you do this with every ponytail style that you do even if you don't like the little knotted ponytail whatever whatever the messy bun like this stuff is always recommended so i hate when i see the rubber bands showing on the style especially like this though y'all please cover the rubber bands okay just do a little wrap around and it just gives it more of a elegant and smooth transitional look
Now that that top ponytail is secure, I'm gonna go ahead and unwrap the bag and just brush and comb everything out. Like we, um, before we did a ponytail, we already had smoothed out the bag and hot combed everything. So now I'm just taking a loose step plaid and I'm just kind of like fluffing everything out. And the last thing we will have to do is the baby hairs, but this is pretty much going to be the style. You can do this wet or you can do it dry. Um, I think we did wet it up a little bit towards the end. I can't really remember, but um, now I'm gonna remove that melt belt and just get into doing the baby hairs. And then the style will soon be finished, but as y'all can see, it's nice and melted. So yes, giving a girl a scalp. So let's get into these baby hairs. I just did like the regular swoops and stuff that I do. I just kind of did it in like in a different order. I didn't really, sh I didn't show um how I did it. I forgot why I didn't show it, but I'm quite sure it was a reason. But however, sorry guys, maybe in the next video I will get more detail. But this is the final look. Um, She kept saying she felt like she looked childish, but I just kept telling her like, it doesn't matter, but um, I'm just going to add a little mousse to those curls. Not super wet, um, just, you know, enough to just define them a little bit and kind of like tone it down as far as puffiness. But um, here is the um, final look that we're approaching. So just stay tuned for the finishing look, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And stay tuned for the next ones we have dropping. Turn your notifications. We'll be doing another restock, so make sure you guys tune into all of that. And I will see you guys next time.